to myself No good for my health You mess with my heart Now you're the reason why Do you remember when you said Do not tell anybody Hello NetEase Cloud Music in China Hello China, Ni Hao China um, my name is Charlie Puth, and it is a pleasure to announce to you, all the great people of China and on NetEase Cloud Music, that this is my first bedroom sessions. Bedroom sessions. Um, even though it's my bedroom's upstairs, but this is my studio. I'm going to perform a little mini concert for you guys. I'm going to show you around my studio, how I make music, all my little stuff. I think my dog is here somewhere. Yeah, he's sleeping. That's okay, though. And uh, um, hopefully it's super interesting to you guys. And yeah, let's get to it. Oh, and then we're going to answer some questions, too, because you guys sent in a bunch of questions. They gave me a list. I'm going to read them off. We're going to have a lot of fun. All right, see you in a second. There we go. Hello once again to all my fans in China on Nettie's Cloud Music. Uh, my name is Charlie Puth. I am in my home studio, which I'm going to give you a brief tour of later, uh, all the ins and outs of it. And I'm here by myself, and I have my all-time favorite piano. I'm going to roll up my sleeve. I have my all-time favorite piano with me, the Fender Rhodes. It's a very warm-sounding piano. Uh, it's vintage, which I love, uh, so it's really, really warm-sounding. And... Uh, uh, I, I I never get to do this. I never get to uh, just play music myself. Uh, I usually have a band with me, behind me. So this is a rare opportunity to see me. Me, all in its glory, uh, performing four songs for you. And I hope you like it. This is a song that I wrote in Asia. And we're gonna drop the key a little bit because that's fun and it's mellow. Oh, listen to the sound, it's so good. <clears throat> Oh, 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 oh,
Stay hydrated, China. Net ease cloud music. If I were to write a song for net ease cloud music, it would go. It would be super happy because people in China are very happy. It would go. Net ease cloud music. Oh how I love net ease cloud music. If you want to listen to some music. Must go to NetEase Cloud Music. Oh, NetEase Cloud Music, pretty good. NetEase Cloud Music. Mm -hmm. They were probably like, "Can you just please play your songs? <laughs> Don't write songs about us." Oh goodness. Mm. Um, this is another song. That's how I'm gonna start that. This is another song. Sing it with 
trying to I'll be there to say China. I love you very much and I do miss you all very much as well. Um, I've said this in a couple of um, Chinese interviews, but my favorite dish that you guys have, and I've been trying to find it um, in America, is the crispy duck with the sugar. I was staying at the Shanghai Peninsula and across the street was this great restaurant. I don't remember the name of it, but I went with uh, some family friends and I had my first proper Chinese food meal. Um, and it was super special because, oh my gosh, that was so much fun. Because the next day, um, we were headlining, my band and I, we headlined the Mercedes-Benz Arena. And it was the best show ever. You guys were so much fun to play for. You know all the words. Um, and I love how everybody got up at the end and, and sang along with me. It was really, really special. Um, so thank you for being there, and I can't wait to come back and do five nights in a row. Um, backstage, I haven't told anybody this yet, but backstage at that show, you guys, um, uh, uh, the Chinese people treated me very, very well, and they gave me a recording studio backstage um, with a gym, like like a you know a gym, and I wrote part of my next single that's coming out really soon so thanks china for the inspiration um but this is uh a, my last song that i put out and uh, i like it very much and i hope you do too and uh even though i can't hear you sing along with me i can feel you sing along with me because i know you're watching this right now i can see your dog right in the back there hello I'm gonna be so happy if that's actually true, but I'm gonna do an extended intro. This piano is so nice. I love this thing. Attention, I knew from the start 
staying super super safe i don't know who's on the uh roof right now there's someone that someone's made a noise i hope you all are staying super super safe um i have one more song for you and then you get to see um uh my bedroom tour um it's been a pleasure playing for you all i have one more song for you um this is uh, a very very special song to me and the reason why it's special is because I, the way that it came about, um, I was approached by Fast and Furious to write the song for the movie, the ending of uh, the movie back in 2015. And uh, they asked if I had anything and I ended up, uh, I was writing uh, something for, uh, uh, I, I was writing something for myself, um, kind of a remembrance anthem uh, for my friend. And it just happened to go very, very well um, 
with the uh, uh, the Paul Walker situation of how he passed away and uh, remembering his legacy. And I'll never forget it. It's like all the stars lined up that day and I signed my record deal because of this song. This uh, song brought me to China for the first time back in 2015. And I got to see a part of the world I had never seen before. And it was really, really special and super inspiring and really pushed me musically. Um, you know, I really owe a lot to my Chinese fans. I, I, I really love you all so much. And uh, you're so innovative and constantly pushing me uh, to be a better uh, musician and write better songs. And uh, I want to just make you happy. And this song definitely made a lot of you happy and that makes me happy. So I'm gonna do a version of it right now. This is uh, called See You Again. Thank you. 
I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. I've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see you again. Thank you all so much for coming to my mini concert. I'm realizing that I have lots of tidying up to do in the background, and I kind of realized that at the very, very last song, but shows you that I'm real. Um, again, I love you all very much. I'll see you for the uh, next section of the video, and uh, I can't stress it enough. I'm so excited to come back to China. Wo de jung gao. Wo de jung gao, I think. That means I love China. Love you guys. Goodbye. For now. Hello there. Um, welcome back. This is uh, going to be the studio tour portion of this video. And uh, it's very hard to hold the camera like this, but oh, that's better. Um, we're going to do it. So we'll start over here. Actually, let's start outside. <laughs> There's no furniture in here yet, so just bear with me. Um, this is my favorite piano. This is a Steinway and Sons Steinway D. And we're going to play a D in honor of that. That's how full that is. It's awesome. It's actually, it's a really cool thing. It's actually autographed by Elton John that says, Dear Charlie, love what you do. Sign Elton John. It's very, very cool. It's very long, too. It looks like a piece of furniture. Um, anyway, this is a cool painting. And uh, when you walk into the studio, this is the first thing you see. You have to keep it at a cool temperature, uh, 69 Fahrenheit, because I have all these keyboards, which I will show you. There's my dog. He says hello. You can't really see him, actually. He's kind of hiding in the uh, the blanket. <laughs> but um, you have to keep it at a pretty cool temperature in here, even though this is pretty cool. When I press this button, this opens up. There we go. Now you can see it. To a wonderful, luxurious... It's not done yet. It's gonna be a fire pit over there and everything, but this is uh, it's pretty cool. The studio's right here, and I can walk out. Very, very cool. Probably plant some uh, flowers over here or something. Anyway, we're gonna close that because we don't want all the cold air to get out. Um, so, Charlie, say hello. Say hello, little doggo. He's tired today. Look at this paw. Um, we're going to start right here. This is a Rhodes 88. This is what I was using to uh, perform just a little while ago. What I love about this keyboard, it has very, very juicy, thick chord sounding things and you can adjust the vibrato which goes hold on to me okay um there's that um let's start up here this is the yamaha dx7 uh kind of a late 80s early 90s keyboard used a lot um on hall and oates records george michael records so that's pretty much why I fell in love with that, because I'm a huge George Michael fan. This is the Roland D50, kind of a similar situation. To me, the thing with keyboards is the, the older they are, the better they are, because there's imperfections. Like sometimes it'll just randomly um, go out of tune, and it's kind of nice because everything on the computer like everything on the computer is so um, perfect 
and you want those imperfections to balance out with the perfections uh, to make it nice sounding. This is a DW8000 by Korg. This came out as dusty. Jeez, what happened here? Um, very cool keyboard. This is the second um, uh, program sequencing sampling keyboard I ever got, the Yamaha Motif ES7. I got it in 2004. And, <laughs> excuse me, has a very, very important um, place in pop music culture, especially in the early 2000s, um, along with this keyboard right here. This is the Korg Triton Studio with a CD burner. I don't know if you can see that. I got it in 2002, and I had to wait about five weeks to get that CD burner because I always wanted to make my own CDs, and I was 11 years old when I got this. Um, I still use it today. I use it on We Don't Talk Anymore. I've used it on Attention. Uh, it has great sounds on it and unusually good string sounds. This is the Prophet 5. I got this because a lot of my producer buddies got this. Um, very, very good for bass, very thick sounds. This is a Juno 106. Um, it is the sibling to the older Juno 60. I put these two keyboards together because they're probably the most used in this collection. Juno 106 I used on Boy, Done For Me, Attention. Same with this keyboard as well. Um, they're all fantastic keyboards. Um, I actually have a lot of similar keyboards, like this Moog right here. It's the mini Moog, used for bass sounds and everything. And over here, I have its older brother, which is the polyphonic Moog, which has uh, stereo capability, which the other one doesn't. So I haven't used this one on too many records yet, but it's very hard to use, <laughs> but it's very, very cool. Um, that's a keyboard just laying on the ground over there. That's a laptop. That's my Charlie Brown mouse. That's my bathroom for all the guests that uh, come in here. It's nice. Um, has one of those fancy toilets too, which is pretty cool. Um, just looking around. Ah, here we go. This is worth showing. This is a Telefunken U48 microphone, and I record my voice. I I track myself. I record myself. I hit record and then sing right here in the chair that I'm sitting in. So it's super easy. I can make the beat at the same time and record so it's pretty instantaneous because i've actually never done very well with an engineer like someone else recording me uh in the room because i just i need to touch the mouse and i need to like i i like to i'm a perfectionist and i mess up a lot um so i could just go right here and be like la 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 it's super easy um and this microphone goes into the 1176 um, by UA, which is a great compressor, into the Chandler pre-amplifier. Um, this silver box um, basically amplifies all the sound going out to the two Focal speakers. Um, they're wonderful speakers, or as the professionals call it, monitors. Um, they're just super crisp and clear. I've mixed attention, I've mixed you again, I mixed... We don't talk anymore. One call away. Marvin Gaye. Um, Marvin Gaye on the uh, smaller version of these speakers. Um, but now I got the big ones. <laughs> um, this dial here is connected to all the keyboards. So if I need to, let's say I want to like record the Juno. But then I want to quickly switch to the Juno 106. It goes... Uh, th this uh, this is coordinated with all the keyboards, so I can switch pretty seamlessly throughout them all. Ah, forgot about the Mellotron, made in Sweden. Very, very, very famous, like um, used on uh, many artist records. Very, very good keyboard. Not the original one, but uh, pretty dang near close to it. Really, really nice. I want to say hi to the dog again. Say hi to NetEase Cloud Music, Charlie. Yes, my dog's name is Charlie. He's a good doggo today. Yes. Look at these ears. So cute. Uh, let's see here. 
<laughs> ah, subwoofer. For the bass. That's what bass sounds like in my mind. Um, these are hard drives that hold all of my music. They are probably the most valuable to me ever. Look how pretty that is. So I get to make music and in the background, I get to hear uh, uh, all the sounds of a waterfall. And finally, one of the most important things is the real book, which if you play jazz music, you know, it's handwritten tunes uh, that you can go on any jazz stand and just play with your jazz band. It's kind of symbolic because that's what I started with and now I have all this. It's pretty cool. This is a good angle right here. Um, so that concludes the studio tour. Let's answer some of your questions and I'm very much looking forward to it. Okay, China. Zhongbao, I love China. Um, NetEase Cloud Music, we're going to do a little Q&A right now. I'm going to lower my chair and you guys sent in some questions and we're gonna, well, when I say where, I mean me, um, I'm going to do my best to answer them, hopefully in a way that you like. Um, Charlie, I think we should get started. Oh, he's sleeping. He's such a good dog. Anyway, um, what does a Charlie Puth quarantine day look like? Well, NetEase Cloud Music, it is uh, looking kind of like this. Um, I'll usually spend, like yesterday, for example, I spent most of my day in this chair, walking around from time to time, um, editing vocals, tuning vocals. And when I say tuning vocals for everybody who doesn't know, um, I sing into this mic and then I tune each word so it's close to perfect. Um, or if I really like the, um, the timbre of my voice, if I really like the way it sounded, but I was a little pitchy, which can happen even though I have perfect pitch, um, I'll tune it up and kind of make it sound perfect with the instrumentation. Uh, it, to me, is the difference between I don't know, a good song and a very, very bad song. Um, yeah, um, I do, I need another hobby. I do like cars, um, but I don't know. I really enjoy making music, so. How do you stay positive during this isolation period? I think like everybody, um, we have our moments, but um, I'm a huge fan of smells. Like when I'm having a down day, I like to surround myself with great smelling things and it just kind of triggers my brain to feel a lot better. For example, this smells amazing. I think this is from the Mercer Hotel in, the, in New York City. So good. And look at that, I'm in a good mood, just like that. Um, I usually, like I'll probably order some really good food tonight. I'm not a very good chef, um, but I'll probably get something that I love, like a pizza and, um, you know, probably drive around. I'm in this with, I'm, I'm in the same boat as you guys. Anyway, have I discovered or learned any new skills during this time? Yes, I learned that I can do this with my forehead. Look at that, it's my hair, but isn't that crazy? Bet you didn't know that, China. How about that? Um, also, I feel like I've become much better um, at making music. Uh, I've like, the pressure is kind of off, I can just, relax and make music that I love to make. So that's pretty cool. Do I cook during isolation time? It's very, very funny that this is being asked right now, as I just said, I'm not a very good cook at all. Um, I have my, um, my chef named Jen who cooks for me. Um, she's been cooking for me for a minute. 
And uh, my favorite dish, I don't know. I mean, I love everything she makes, but I love pizza. Oh, I love pizza so much. I love just plain pizza. I used to eat that every day. Now I can't eat that every day or you know, so I'll not look as lean, but I love pizza. Domino's pizza, I think. Uh, I think I had pizza in China once. Do I exercise at home? Recommend us one routine workout move, which is easy and effective for people who want to start exercises at home. Um, I can do that. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, this is what my trainer tells me. You can grab like water bottles. Um, like picture I had another water bottle right here for like or you could get weights as well but like you could pick like, like anything like bags of stuff and just lift up down up down up down and it might not seem like a lot but when uh you do it a hundred times up down up down it's actually pretty hard and it gets you really cut um you could do sit-ups um i do standing planks by resting my elbows on the floor and uh, just squeezing uh, my abs. If you wanna like get a good uh, tone midsection, all you have to do is just squeeze. It sounds ridiculous, but you just have to squeeze your abs. Um, so there is that. And uh, I'm trying to think what else. That's pretty much it. That's really, and then bam, it's really diet. I mean, I want to eat as much pizza as I can, but I can't because I have to be in shape. Um, what is the first thing you want to do after the stay at home order is lifted? Um, okay, I'm thinking I have my answer. I am a very introverted person. I like to spend a lot of time at home and now I have no choice. I have to spend time at home. So because of that, I've become a little bit more extroverted. I'm like yearning to go hang out with friends. Um, so when all this is over, I'm never ever once again going to take for granted, um, you know, going out. Even if it's somewhere that I'm not sure if I want to go to, I'm always going to give it the benefit of the doubt. I'm always going to be like, okay, could be fun. Um, if it's something I really don't want to go to, of course, I'm not going to, you know, go to it. But um, just... I'm going to think twice next time because there's just some fun things to be done. Any message you want to share with us during this special time? Um, it sounds cheesy, but it's just not to give up. Um, China is a very, very special place to me. It's a, a very special place to a lot of Americans, a lot of people around the world. And uh, we can't wait to come back and travel and uh, eat your delicious food and see your beautiful city skyline. Um, I've had my best meals ever in China. I'm talking a lot about food. Maybe it's because I need to eat lunch. I should probably do that. Um, but that's just to stay positive as much as you can. How do you connect with your fans when there are no tours and shows? Um, I was just thinking about this the other day. and I'm not going to lie. I get a little tripped out when I'm thinking to myself, oh my gosh, are there going to be concerts uh, ever again? Are there really, are there really going to not be any concerts? And I know there will be, um, but there's this great thing called social media and uh, the internet and uh, the need for entertainment and music in this world. So even though the times are weird right now, people are wanting music more than ever. So that's incredibly motivating to me that people are just at home ready to hear the newest, latest, and greatest from any artist they love. Hopefully me. Love me. I'm the best. I'm kidding. Um, it's super motivating. Uh, and oh my gosh, when, when we're ready to come back to China, me and my bands and my whole crew, the show is going to be 10 times more special because we will have... Uh, just yearn to be there for so long. We will have been waiting for so long.
gotta stay hydrated. <clears throat> Have you made any new music while at home? If so, how is this different from making music in a studio? Well, I always have made music in my own studio. I've actually never made really anything good in a studio where, I mean, I've finished songs in studios. Like I finished the song, How Long Has This Been Going On in Canada. Um, but I came up with the idea in a hotel room. It's like, I almost want to make music in rooms where I know people are going to probably listen to them, which is why I make musics on, why I make musics, why I make music on airplanes, in cars, because I know that people, I need to like get into the vibe. I know that people are going to be in those things listening to them. There are Not a lot of people are in recording studios every day, if that makes sense. I'm just grabbing this. Mm. Okay, cool. There was a, a plug that was not in there um but yeah i made tons of new music and something that's very very interesting is that i've made um like usually music is in 440 hertz and i've been recording i've been experimenting in uh with recording in different um uh, uh key ranges so instead of 440 uh, i go uh, and it's like 430 or 440 or 450. It's, it makes the song sound a little bit different. Um, and it kind of makes it sound a little bit 80s, which is kind of the musical vibe that I'm on right now. How do you keep your creativity at home? Um, I try and walk outside. I live in a neighborhood so I can walk around, thank goodness. Um, but I walk around the neighborhood and uh, it's pretty cool knowing that I can just get back home and uh, be inspired outside and come right back in here. I have a hot tub over there. Um, as I showed you before, I have this little uh, water garden. Uh, there's plenty of things. There's eucalyptus trees. There's plenty of things to be inspired by um, around here, which is really, really awesome. Uh, here it is. Okay, so I'm looking at my computer screen and I have so many windows up, just uh, How do I usually start making new music? Does it always start by piano? Well, I can show you. Hold on a second, let me see. Session. So what I usually do, is you can't see it on the computer now, but it's loading up my template, meaning it's loading up all my, my vocals, it's loading up uh, uh, all my favorite piano sounds, uh, and it takes like a second, but once it's loaded up, because I have a very fast computer, I open a new track, and maybe it's like an instrument track, and let's find a synth here. <laughs> let's do this one. I don't know why it always makes me log into it. Okay, so... I'm activating the plugin. Sounds really complicated. It's not. Um, it's authorized now. Ooh, let's turn on that. So I usually so, so to, to, for me to come up with an idea, I usually go through different sounds. Mm. Eh. No, actually that. No. Ooh. And if I hear a sound, I'll immediately think of chords right away. So. I'm actually coming up with, this is actually a pretty good idea. Yes. 
so everything. All right, that's actually a good. I gotta remember that. I gotta remember. That's actually a great sound to write to. Um, yeah, I always start off with a synth sound or, or something in my head. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much how it works. And then I put little drums in. And I actually have a drum folder. I'll play you some of it. Do, 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 do. Where's my drum folder? Do I not have my drum folder? Charlie sounds. Here we go. So these are just my go-to sounds that I use. Like this is a, a clap. That's a, a really good snare I made. Ooh. That's a kick that has a transient before the real kick. I'll do it again. Really cool. It's just a great kick. Open hi-hat. Shaker. Great snare like these chords a lot. This is a 90s piano that I recorded. <laughs> it's delightful. And yeah, that's pretty much how I come up with songs. All right, next question. Um, you have posted some videos on socials that you were playing some new music in beats and they're quite different from your previous releases are you trying to make new music styles yes that's kind of what i answered before i am trying to make something i'm always i'm never the type of person that's going to be like oh i have to make a see you again part two f sharp <laughs> and oh i have to uh uh you know make another attention i want to always break the mold and do something different which is why i'm very excited for the uh song you're going to hear pretty soon um my first single which i'm very excited about which genre would you like to try most for your new music maybe not for like my project specifically but i've always had a fascination with country music i really love country music um and that's a perfect question to lead into this one you've collaborated with gabby bear for i hope remix tell us more about this it's very interesting, and the story's a bit anticlimactic. I'm um, sorry I'm sitting like this, it's just very comfortable. Um, Gabby has a great song called I Hope, which... I hope you both feeling sparks by the end of the drive. I hope you both need a long by the end of the night. I love a run-on sentence in a chorus. Um, and I just, I love the chords, like when they go to the... I love that so much. Um, and I just DM'd her and I was like, hey, can I sing on this with you? I wish I wrote this song. And then she wrote back and said yes. And I, like a crazy person, sent her something within the hour because that's how much I love the song. Super nice. Really, really nice girl. Very talented girl. What has one of your favorite collaborations been? Um, the one you haven't heard that I did with Elton John. Um, which artist do you want to collaborate mostly with right now? Um, there's a lot of artists I want to collaborate with, but Justin Timberlake is still up there. I haven't conquered the Timberlake yet. I want to really, that would be super cool. Uh, to get in with him because he shares a lot of the same musical ideals that I have too and layering of vocals and such. Oh, the window, where'd it go? Um, um, I was flat. Another great way to go into this question. We're all amazed by your excellent perfect pitch. Thank you. When did you discover it? Is this related um, with your studies at Berkeley College of Music? Um, 
maybe Berkeley has a huge, I made a huge mark in my life for the better, but I discovered I had perfect pitch when I was four years old. Well, I saw that I had perfect pitch when I was four years old because there are videos of me singing. Um, there's this song called um, Cheeseburger in Paradise and it goes, uh, it's in D major. And the cheeseburger in paradise, paradise. And I would sing it. There's a video of me singing it at four years old in D major. So I have must have always had perfect pitch. Um, it's pretty cool because I can produce songs in my mind and kind of take them out of my mind and put them into Pro Tools. So that's very, very, very useful, especially when you're working with an artist that wants to move quick, like me. <laughs> um, but Berkeley was one of the best experiences of my life because it brought a social aspect to music that I was missing. It made me feel um, like I could relate to people because I went to high school, I was the only musician. And uh, um, I went to Berkeley and there were a lot of kids like me and it was just an amazing experience. Plans for new music? Yes, very, very, very soon. Um, my first single, I don't want to say when, but it's going to come very soon. I'm very excited. Um, most memorable thing from your last China tour. Oh my goodness. Playing the Mercedes Benz arena and then going to eat the best meal of my life. I can't remember the name of the restaurant, but China's beautiful city skyline. There was a Ferris wheel, I think, in the background. There were a lot of colors. Um, it made me fall in love with uh, China, and I just love China. I love China. I love you guys. Um, and anything that I'd like to say to my Chinese fans, stay strong. This is a very, very weird time right now, um, but we're all going to get through this, and I'm right there with you. We're all, all your favorite artists are at home as well, and we're all going to get through this, and it's all going to be okay. So, um, hopefully we'll be back very, very soon to play some music for you. But until then, I'm going to release some new music so you can learn it. And when I see you guys in person, uh, you can sing every word for me. And I'll love that. Also, thank you to Nettie's Cloud Music for doing this. How Everybody give a round of applause for Nettie's Cloud Music. Come on. It's a great thing that they're doing. Um, I love you guys as well. And, uh, and yeah, that was a great Q&A. Thank you so much for your questions. So my bedroom session with NetEase is coming to an end. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I thought, I hope it was very informative to you. I've never done anything like this before, um, but it was super exciting for me. So I hope you liked it uh, very, very much. I love doing this for you guys. We're in a very strange time right now. Um, I know we're gonna get through this together very, very soon. Uh, remember to keep good personal hygiene, to wash your hands, uh, all the good stuff, and Take care of yourself and the loved ones around you. Um, I really hope I can go to China one day and see you guys again very, very soon. I love you all very much. Mwah. Look out for new music very, very soon. Bye. Love you guys. Okay. Hello, everybody at NetEase Cloud Music. Um, Ni Hao China. That's how you say it, I think. Um, it's a very, very pretty day out today. There's the sky. I wanted you to get a good look at the, uh, the sky. I have my uh, chickpea snacks. They're very good and healthy. They have protein. Um... And yeah, we're going to get to this. <laughs>